What's up guys and gals, WWE fans? Here we go with the Series 47 Sasha Banks versus Charlotte Flair Battle Pack Women's Division. Really cool. Um, I'm happy about this Battle Pack at this point. This will be my second Charlotte Flair figure as well as my second Sasha Banks. Um, if you want to count my first one, which is the zombie version, which, uh, you know, this will be my first where she's not a zombie. Um, I don't know exactly when they appeared in these outfits. I probably wasn't watching yet at that point, but I'm digging them. Uh, and as always, really cool photo. Package is bent. That's one of the, um, one of the risks with ordering from Amazon I'm sure before it was packed it was this, a non creased uh, card but it was not packed perfectly which I don't mind I'm not a sealed collector but there's the other ones available in this series which I don't think I want any of those just just this there's a better look at that photo of the two um, before I crack these open I will say um, at this point, as much as I've been watching, coming back to WWE, I'm actually a big fan of both of these ladies. It's hard to say which one I like more. I like them both a whole lot uh, in different ways. Sasha Banks is just awesome. She's amazing, amazing energy. And then Charlotte. Oh, she is. She is. She is a wrestler. I love seeing her in action. She straight up manhandles <laughs> the other women in the division. I want to say, like, the only one who I think is more beast than her in the current women's division is Nia Jax. Other than that, Charlotte, she takes it. So anyway, let me uh, crack this open and let's take a closer look at these two ladies. Okay, so let's take a look at Sasha Banks first. Let's take a little 360 so you can get a look at the, the details there. Minor, uh, I don't know if that's it's supposed to be that way, but the different colors right there. Um, minor issue. Her necklace, details. On the printing on her shirt, really cool. She's got a smiling face. I think this is a different... I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is a different face from her first time in the line version. I could be wrong, though. Um, and then, of course, she does have her, her shades. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though, when you get the little accessories like that that are actually... Kind of functional in the sense that they are, you know, removable. So there you have it. I like it. I like it. Really cool. And then uh, Charlotte Flair. 360. So um, I do have a, a previous Charlotte Flair figure that... Um, I think it was based on an earlier appearance of her. And I want to say I like this version better. Still minor issue in in the outfit just being, you know, like printed on and no, no like sculpted detail there. But still, it works. Uh, it's not so bad in, in the face. I think the, uh, the likeness on her is actually really good. Some little printed details on there or tattoos. I think she has one somewhere. Yeah, there you go. So there you have it, Charlotte Flair. Woo! And then real quick with both of them back here standing, you can see the height difference there. It's one of the things I always appreciate in a toy line when they actually, you know, they don't just reuse the same exact body you know for every male or female respectively um and we actually get different types so that you get different heights and sizes and stuff like that so 
there you have it. All in all, this is a very um, worthy pack. You know, if you're a fan, collector, I'd recommend it. It's, it's one you're going to want. You know, Sasha, Charlotte. Really cool. I like it. Well worth it. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.